Sit. Natasha Van Meer can't wait to sit on her own steps at her own rental home. She's been staying with friends after arriving in Calgary from Morocco. Most of the places that I message are already full. Desperate for a place for her and her pooch, she continued her search. So I found a one bedroom, $900 a month. Right price, right location, but right soon turned to very wrong. So the guy messaged me back right away. He just sent me this sob story about how he's someone stole from him and he moved to Kelowna and he will give me the keys but I had to send first month's rent at a deposit before he would give me the combination to the lockbox where the keys were and I was like this is very clearly a scam I'm not sending you money without even seeing a place knowing that it actually exists. The building does exist and it is renting but all signs point to it not being connected to the original poster. We've definitely seen an increase. The Better Business Bureau says when you combine our population growth with Calgary's already tight housing market, it's a prime market for scammers. With back to school, people coming into this city, it's certainly uh, you know, presenting an environment where scams and frauds are ever more prevalent, especially if you're moving from another market and you might not be familiar with what the housing market is in this city or another city. It's definitely something that you want to research, but if it's too good to be true, if they're allowing pets, it comes furnished, prime location, and several hundred dollars less than what the going market is, definitely that's a red flag. Sit. Hey. Natasha Van Meer is just glad she heeded the red flags. Like I was tempted. Come on, let's go. Morocco. She advises others to not just walk away, but run far, far away from offers too good to be true. Tomasia Da Silva, Global News.